What is going on guys, DBG here, and someone has actually completed the all-time domination. And they've told us what the three domination rewards are. They are Wes Unsell, Tim Hardaway, and Joe Dumas. I'm gonna go over the stats of all of these cards now, and tell you which one I think is the best to pick up. So Wes Unsell is a 95 overall center. Comes with one Hall of Fame badge. That Hall of Fame badge is break starter, but he does come with 17 gold. He's an 89 open shot mid, 85 open shot three. He's at 87 speed, 85 acceleration, 75 ball control. He's at 95 passing vision, which is really good, actually, really good. He's really good defender. He's got 88 on ball defensive IQ. He's an 88 steal, 95 block. His post game is unbelievable. 97 post talk, 96 post fade away. He's got 95 driving dunk, 95 standing dunk, 95 driving layup. His rebounding is all 98. His intangibles are 65, meaning that he's probably either a 97 somewhere between a 97 to a 99 overall i'm guessing around 97 but this card is a very solid player to pick up now we got tim hardaway who again 70 in gold one hall of fame the hall of fame is ankle breaker which is a big one especially um for a point guard i'm assuming there's another player around him which is why this thing's cut off his shorts right here but let's go over his stats 92 open shot mid 88 open shot three 97 speed 97 acceleration 94 driving lap he can't dunk 95 ball control 96 passing 97 speed with ball great defending 90 on ball defensive iq 97 steal 97 tangibles i would dodge this card at all costs like it's i'm not saying it's a bad card just six foot tall that is a killer that's a killer and can't dunk like that's I 100% would tell you, suggest pick Wes Unsell over him. So let's see what Dumar's stats are like. I'm guessing Dumar's is going to be a really good card though. I'm guessing he's going to be really good. So let's see badges. He's got one Hall of Fame and his defensive stopper, which is one of the best Hall of Fame badges he can have. He's got 95 open shot mid, 93 open shot three. He's got 90 free throw, 90 speed, 90 acceleration. He's got 86 ball control, meaning he can speed boost. He's also got an 80, oh, sorry, a 95 shot close, 90 driving layup, 51 driving dunk, 59 post fadeaway, which is not great. He's got good speed with ball of 88. His defending is unbelievable, 98 on ball defensive IQ. He's also got a, he's only got a 60 steal though, which is poor, which is very poor. Even though he does have great lateral quickness, the steal is probably the most important stat. To be honest, the steal is the most important defensive stat in my opinion. And, but yeah, so this card is quite good. So, now I'm going to go over all these three cards on which one I think you should buy. So, first of all, the worst, in my opinion, is obviously this card right here. The worst is Tim Hardaway Jr. So, you're not Tim Hardaway Jr., Tim Hardaway Sr. This Tim Hardaway card is good. It's good, but it's just six foot tall, can't dunk, and it's just... There's going to be much, much better cards than this that come out. You're going to be able to get much, much better cards than this. Next, I'm actually going to say, in a really close second... I'm going to say Joe Dumas, because Dumas is 6 foot 3, so he's taller, he's going to be able to dunk, not well, but he's going to be able to dunk, um, he's got a good open shot 3, really good open shot 3, really good open shot mid, great defender, so this card is going to be really good, you're probably going to want to play him at the point guard position, but he could be a lockdown defender, especially early in the game, but the thing is that this card here is incredible, Wes Unseld is really, really good. His card was brilliant last year. His card was brilliant. Not as a center, but as a power forward or a small forward or shooting guard. Like, I wasn't the biggest fan of this card at some stages. And then I'd use him again and remember how good this card was. This card was a glitch last year. And this card is almost as good as last year's card. A little bit worse from three, and that's about it. And they're almost identical. 4,000 total attributes. I'm actually going to look at total stats and see um, which card is the most. So team... Let's go rewards because the rest of them are just fake players. So rewards, total stats. It is the third highest in total stats. There's more total stats than the Pink Diamond Shaq. It is more total stats than Pink Diamond Nate Thurmond and David Robinson. The only Pink Diamond has better stats than it is Oscar Robertson. And then obviously Julius Irving has better stats from the historic NBA rewards. And they're going to be extremely hard to get. But he's the third best player stats wise in the game. So I would definitely definitely suggest to pick up a Wes on Celt. So anyway, that's the video. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.